Welcome. Once the PowerFlex 750 series drive has an IP address and is on the network, we can add it to RS Links. Please refer to TechNote 517716 if more information is needed on setting an IP. RS Links Classic is a comprehensive factory communication solution providing Allen Bradley programmable controller access to a wide variety of Rockwell software and Allen Bradley applications. This video will guide you through the steps of 1. Selecting the proper driver in RS Links, 2. Adding a drive on a plant network, 3. Adding a drive on a private or machine network, and 4. Verifying communication between the drive and RS Links. In RS Links, navigate to the top of the Communications tab. Click RS Who. The RS Who window will appear. Here you can see all of your active drivers running in RS Links. Let's add a new driver by going to the Communications tab, then Configure Drivers. From the drop-down menu, select Ethernet Devices, and then click Add New. You will now have the option to name your driver at this time. We are going to name our driver MCC1. Click OK. The new window will now allow you to type in IP addresses. There are two common types of network configurations. The first configuration is when your drive is directly connected to your RS Lynx computer, or using just a switch to get to your drive. We'll call this a plant network. The second type of configuration is when your drive communicates with a VLAN, that is, you communicate through the backplane of the PLC chassis. We'll call this a machine network. If your drive is on a plant network, go ahead and type in your drive's IP address now. Click Add New to add more IPs, and click OK when done. If your drive is on a machine network, type in the IP of the Ethernet card or module your RS Links computer is connected to. Click OK. Click Close on the Configure Drivers window. You should now see the new driver appear below your workstation. Verify you have the Auto Browse checked. Expand the driver by clicking on the plus symbol next to it. Here you will see your plant address you added. You can always add more plant IPs by right-clicking on the driver and going to Configure Driver. To add a drive on a subnet, expand the Ethernet module and the backplane to see the entire backplane. Expand the other Ethernet module, right-click on the Ethernet icon, and go to Properties. Next, enter in the IP of the drive on the machine network. Click Add, and then click OK. Now expand the Ethernet icon, and now your drive should appear. Notice how there are no red X's on the drives. A red X signifies that there is no communication to the device. If a red X does appear, you should verify your Ethernet connection and IP addresses. If your drive shows up as a yellow question mark and says unrecognized device PowerFlex 755, then you are simply missing the EDS file. Although not needed, this file is only for the icon picture. Refer to TechNote 612-653 for EDS file installation if desired. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos 
on the Rockwell Automation Drives channel.